Hey everybody, it's Old School Nerd. Shocker, just huge bomb coming out of Sweden. Um, Tommy Johansson has announced that he is going to be uh, parting ways with Sabaton. Now, this is a shock to even me, um, but there may be a reason for it. Want to know what that is? Well, watch this. With doors opening, doors closing, new horizons, new opportunities, the ending of some things, the beginning of some things new. Um, Tommy Johansson has declared and made the announcement today, and Sabaton has made their announcement, that he is going to be parting ways with a band. Now, this is not immediately. No one's been fired. Nobody's quitting. Let me explain why this may be occurring from my perspective, okay? Number one, I'm a huge fan of Sabaton. Let me also say this. I am an enormous fan of Tommy Johansson. If you know my channel, you know this to be true. Uh, Sabaton is one of the most amazing concepts of music in the history of metal for me because of what they do in, re in reflection to metal, history, and telling amazing stories of heroes past and present. Um, and Tommy Johansson has been a part of that for quite a few many years now. Now, um, this is not the first time someone has left Sabaton. Um, Sabaton has been through many different arranged uh, uh, lineups. And, and please understand, this is 25 years of a band. When Sabaton started, Tommy was like six years old, nine years old, something like 11, something. He was young. He was just a kid when they started. Um, it's a very unique situation, okay? Sabaton is bigger now than they ever have been, okay? They have had some success in America in a small sense, per se, in the past. But Sabaton is huge in Europe. Huge. And one of the keys behind this is now, in the last three or four years, with a slight interruption from COVID, Fans of Sabaton in the United States have really captured or grasped what Sabaton was saying from a history standpoint. And with a partnership with Live Nation for tours and distribution and, and things like that and promotion, uh, you can expect even bigger things from Sabaton. Here's the issue. How many bands and projects is Tommy a part of? Most people know Tommy as the guitarist from Sabaton, unless you live in Europe. If you live in Europe, you know that Tommy literally has so many irons in the fire, something had to give at some point. I knew that there was an announcement coming, and honestly, I thought it might be something to do with a pullback for Majestica, or a pullback for Tommy on his YouTube channel, or a pullback from something else because Sabaton is probably going to have one of the biggest years this year and probably even into next year. Um, last year, Sabaton toured everywhere. And the year before that, they toured everywhere, headlining even a tour in the United States. And that is immense, okay, for a breakthrough for this band. Um, uh, for, for the American market, for them to headline a tour the way they did with, with Epica. Um, and I went to that tour. It was amazing. Here's the key. I know for a fact that three things are going on at the same time. Majestica is starting to kick back up new music, record, new recordings, possibly a new Christmas album. Who knows? Majestica is the kings of Christmas metal music. At the same time, Sabaton goes through this giant explosion of popularity in the United States. You know they're going to keep touring and touring and touring in Europe. And uh, the Sabaton cruise, Sabaton open air, Sabaton this, Sabaton that, Sabaton the movie. It's one of those things where it becomes such a monster machine 
that someone like Tommy, who everyone that's ever worked with Tommy will tell you, Tommy's an amazingly wonderful, positive, always got a smile on his face. He's always one to go into the trenches. He works hard. He's never going to complain and all this other stuff. There is no possible way that you can do Majestica, a YouTube channel for him that has exploded where he's putting out new music every week. Think about it like this. A guitarist on one of the busiest bands, I think other than maybe Metallica, as far as constantly going all the time, always touring, always going, always on the road, Who's the band that does that just as much out of Europe? Sabaton does. They're always doing something. There's always a project. There's always a promo. There's always a cruise, a festival, a tour, here, there, and everywhere because they're a phenomenon now. Tommy is a part of that machine. At the same time, he's doing what Frog Leap Studio does on YouTube. Frog Leap Studios, Leo Maracchioli. Both him and Tommy have been putting out cover songs, metal versions of, of songs every week. Frog Leap's been doing it for what, almost a decade now? Tommy's been doing it for the last two and a half years and it's exploded for him personally in a creative way. And the guys from Majestica. Here's the problem, ready? I've said all those things to say this. How many hours are in a day? How many days are in a week? How many weeks are in a month and how many months are in a year? The last time I checked, we all have finite time and Tommy has a list of things where he would literally have to work 28 hours a day. There are 24 hours available. Now, Tommy is a workaholic. He will go and go and go and go. But he had to sit down. If you guys remember, he did take a break at the end of last year from his YouTube channel because, and he also took a vacation last year from his YouTube channel and from everything else because he finally found a little sliver of time for family. Here's the problem. Tommy loves what he does so much. He loves Sabaton. The members of Sabaton for him are like brothers. They are. They all love each other. There's love there. He loves his family. He loves music. He loves the creative process. He loves to become who he is. And he really loves creating music. But there is a time. Tommy is right now 36 years old, 37 years old. So right now, musically, he's in the prime of his career. And he's having this creative outlet bug where he wants to create new music and he has a fire in him that is ridiculous. Like I said, Majestica, his own YouTube cover channel, and Sabaton. He had, something has to go. There's just no way, the guy was burning out. I don't know how, I mean, you can be Tommy Johansson where you're always smiling, you're always positive, you're always happy, or at least on the outside, but he's still a human being, despite what anybody tells you. It is not an easy decision for him. And it's not an easy decision for Sabaton. But at the end of the day, is it for the best? If this is going to give Tommy the outlet and the ability to be as creative for his music as he wants to be, then yes, maybe it's time for him to do that. And if that's the case, I invite all of you to 100% support him in all of his endeavors. At the same time, Tommy would want you to support Sabaton and the new guitarist for Sabaton, who he's going to bring in. The announcement said Tommy's staying to work with the new guitarist to make sure it's right. Who does that? Tommy and Sabaton does that. So to Chris, to Pear, to Joachim, to, uh, to, to Johans, love you guys. To Tommy, love you. I'm... I'm shocked. I'm a little bummed. I'm a little bummed to not see Tommy and Sabaton reactions and, and videos and live. I mean, there, there's, a, there's a thing that goes on between Tommy and Chris live on stage. It's, it's a unique dynamic and it's so fun to watch because they're hilarious together. Because together, 
they can literally drive Joachim nuts every night. And it's part of the dynamic of the live show. It's a shocking announcement, but at the same time, I get it. Tommy has so many ideas and so much drive. Sabaton has so many things going on and so much coming up. It's a matter of time management and quality of life. Could Tommy continue with Sabaton and Majestica and the YouTube channel and the solo stuff and his creative outlet? Could he do all of it? Yes, he did it for the last two years. Would it be healthy for him? No, I don't think so. I think that if, if it continued, could he do it? Yes. Would it be healthy? No. It wouldn't be healthy for him personally. It wouldn't be healthy for his family. It wouldn't be healthy for Sabaton. Because eventually, if he keeps progressing and Sabaton becomes even more and more and more and more bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger because they cannot stop now. They're literally like the European historical Metal Metallica. It becomes a machine. Remember Jason Newstead and why he left Metallica? Because Metallica was a machine that was all demanding. He loved the music. He loved playing. But he had these creative outlets that he couldn't fulfill because Metallica was too big and he couldn't get away. This is how it's supposed to work, everybody. Sabaton is doing it right. And so is Tommy. Rather than wait till it becomes so big and so stressful and so demanding that you literally have a breakdown, they talked it out. They had a beer, they talked about it, they thought about it, they shared, and they made a decision together. And I got to be honest with you, that's the best thing that could have happened. Am I bummed? Yes. Is it necessary? Probably. And with that, I love you guys. Thank you for everything, Tommy. Thank you for being a part of Sabaton. Sabaton, thank you for continuing to do what you do. And I promise that I will continue to love both Sabaton and Tommy Johansson in any avenue and any direction they go in because I think this is probably the best departure of a band you can have because it's done the right way at the right time. And with that, we'll see you later. Thanks for watching everybody. And if you enjoyed this video, give us a like. It really helps the channel grow. Also, if you want to subscribe, right over there. A big thank you to all my Patreons out there for everything you do. And if you want more content like this, check them out above. Remember, love one another, take care of each other. We're all stuck on this mud ball together. We'll see you later.